The exterior wall is a critical part of the building enclosure. It starts with the construction of framing and sheathing. There are various moisture management features built into the exterior wall. A water-resistive barrier, or WRB, is commonly used to protect the outer surface of the wood sheathing from any rainwater that penetrates past the cladding. All exterior wall penetrations require flashing, which is designed to direct bulk water away from the wall cavity. Window openings use flashing in several locations, such as the sill, the jams, and the header. For doors, the threshold is a critical flashing location. and all utilities, service penetrations, need flashing. Masonry cladding, such as brick and stone, manage bulk water by allowing pathways for drainage. Brick veneer is installed with a one-inch air gap between the brick and the covered sheathing surface. The air gap functions as a drainage cavity which allows bulk water to drain through weep holes and wall components inside the cavity to dry. Stone masonry veneer products are often installed with a drainage plane instead of an air gap. The drainage plane allows water to drain behind the masonry cladding and out from the drip edge. The exterior wall construction inward from the WRB is also a factor in moisture management. The effective management of heat flow
airflow and water vapor flow through the use of insulation, air barriers, and vapor retarders can prevent the formation of water condensation within the exterior wall cavity or high moisture content in water absorbing materials such as wood. Later in this video series, we will review several exterior wall construction practices in detail and identify how they minimize moisture problems.